Hello, my name's Mike and I'm the Education Coordinator and Science Person here at WGVU. And I'm going to bring you a few moments in science. In today's demo, we're going to deal with some sound. All right, and sound, you may say, what is sound? Sound travels in waves, and that's how our ears pick up that vibration of air. I have a singing pipe, and this, all the singing pipe has in it, it's just a steel pipe, and it's got a wire screen, a wire mesh screen that you'll be able to see right in the end of that pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the air inside this tube with that wire mesh screen using the torch. Whoops. And to do this, I'm going to put my safety goggles on, safety glasses on. And here we go. The end with the wire mesh screen is going to heat up. And then listen for the tone. Singing pipe. Sounds like there's a genie in the tube right now. There isn't. It's just the air heating inside the tube. Let me heat that up a little bit more. Perfect tone. If I turn it sideways, you don't hear the tone anymore. That's because the air is not able to go straight up. So if I heat it up. All right, you're able to hear that tone, all right? So I've got the tone. The flame inside there is heating the stainless steel screen and the hot screen heats the air inside the tube, causing the hot air to rise and cool as it enters the bottom end. Because air passes through the many holes in the screening, a flow of air fills the tube and the noise is produced because certain frequencies of sound from the heated air resonate within that tube cavity. And this is similar to how an organ pipe works. Again, sideways, that air is not able to pass through. When I turn it back up, the warm air is able to escape up. The cooler air from the bottom is making the heated air inside of there resonate and give off that tone. And that, if I could sing, I would sing the ending to this, but I can't sing because I can't hold the pitch. But just to let you know, that right there is a few moments in science.